Hello friend, nice to see you here. Thanks for your time and energy. It's Tea Time with Alex Gill, where we have casual conversations about big stuff. So let's dive right into it. You already received my blog, uh, my post, you know what this is about. So let's get to it. How did I go from a place of struggle and hustling to a place of joy and inspiration and excitement in all the actions I take now towards my business? So first, let's revisit the four requisites for change. So if you remember from my past videos, and if you don't, that's okay too. So the first requisite of change in anything, if we work in an area of like career, relationships, personal growth, health and fitness, right, or fitness and nutrition, whatever area you're trying to get some results or you tried to get results in the past and the results are poor or inconsistent, it makes you wonder what has happened. So I'm gonna give you a little framework here for you that I learned from my teacher, Dr. Matt James, uh, my neurolinguistics teacher, and also the mental emotional release teacher. He taught me that the four records of change are number one, letting go our negative emotions or limiting beliefs, and also some of our unconscious decisions. Unconscious decisions that we made at some points in our lives, maybe when we were 5, 10, 15, 20, those moments when we had a challenge, um, emotional trauma, and trauma has can be, in, you know, has a, a large spectrum. It can be a small trauma, can be a big trauma, but anytime we had something that shook us to the core, and create an emotional charge, it's a trauma. So those moments, we make unconscious decisions. Like, for example, you might open a business and that business fails and you make an unconscious decision that moment or conscious that's like, I will never try anything this hard again. I will never challenge myself. Or somebody breaks your heart and you say, I will never open my heart to somebody again. So we make unconscious decisions like that sometimes through life. So that's number one. Number two, is setting meaningful goals. Like, know or why, why are we setting those goals? Are they meaningful for us? Are they ecological? Number three, taking actions. And that involves setting boundaries. And number four, focus or mental state or mental thinking on the things that we want. So we look ahead, we look at the future, not in the past, based on things that we don't want anymore. So we, it's a scarcity mindset, so speaking, right? So number one, let go in, in negative emotions. Number two, set your goals. Number three, take actions. Number four, focus on what you want. So those are the requisites. So let me tell you a little bit about my story of struggling. For the first three years of my business, uh, as I shared with you before, I was determined to figure out how to make it work. And I read every single book about success, every book that I could put my hands on achievement, books on making money, books on getting clients, building a successful coaching career. I hire coaches. I did all that. And yet, by January 2nd of this year, when I was sitting on my floor here in tears, looking at my bacon card and I, and I thought, why my results are not consistent? Why can I make a lot of money having a great abundance, prosperity in one month and another month I don't? So I start doing some deep work. I start doing some deep work with a, with a, with a healer, with a therapist, and then there's a, a point that really dissolved all those limiting beliefs, negative emotions, and unconscious decisions that I had that was blocking my results and the consistency of my results. And this is why, if you've been watching my videos, you've, you're starting to really get this. When we set goals, we do that with our conscious mind, with our left brain. And I was a master on setting goals. Setting goals was not a problem. Then taking actions, maybe for you is the same. Taking actions maybe initially is not the hard thing either because we use our willpower, or discipline or determination. And I was an athlete in those areas. I'm disciplined, I'm determined, I have grit, I'm gonna get this. And yet, the results were not consistent. So a lot of us activists are really good taking actions and something happens with those actions. They either, we either 
get fed up and we stop taking the right actions because the motivation is not there anymore, or we feel like we're taking those actions always from a place of struggle, willpower, pushing. And when we do that, it's very important to know, we start losing the joy. We start feeling like life is always a struggle. I always have to hustle. It never feels just good and, and easy sometimes. And sometimes it's not going to be easy, but most of the time we should, we should feel at ease. Not that things are easy, but we should, in the pursuit of the meaningful goals in our life, we should feel a state of harmony, at ease, and joy. And if we're not, uh, then what is the point of starting a business? What is the point of like going back to school? Whatever goal you're working on, what's the point of starting that new project if it's going to always be a struggle and you're not having fun in the process? So I'm sharing this message with you because I was there not long, long too long ago. And what really shifted for me was when I had uh, a breakthrough session with an NLP, Master NLP practitioner, and a practitioner who also did mental emotion release with me. I am the testimonial to the breakthrough sessions today, and I'm gonna share in, in, in my next blog testimonies from my clients, but I wanna give you my testimonial. Since I had that session done with me, a practitioner with me a couple months ago, my energy is completely different. Now, every day that I'm in my office, that I make in my, my action list, the actions that are meaningful for, based on my goals, the actions that have high value. I do them with so much ease and joy and inspiration. There's no more struggle. The struggle is gone. The anxiety is gone. That need to, to pull that, that, that motivation from willpower, it's gone. All that is completely gone. And it's gone because in that breakthrough session when the practitioner did a mental emotional release with me, we work around career success. We clean up my limiting beliefs around success because I always question myself, can I be successful? Maybe I'm not built for success or I don't deserve it or it's not for me. So we clean that up. We clean up negative emotions around success, anger, frustration, shame that I had when I was about 40 years old. I had no money, no goals, so I had shame. So we cleaned that up. And we cleaned it up the unconscious decisions, unconscious decisions that I made. Um, I cannot even remember what they are right now, but we cleaned that up. It's gone out of my body. It's not creating the energy anymore that was sabotaging my motivation, my inspiration, my creativity, my joy. So now when I come here and I, I write down, I have this habit, I have always a piece of paper next to my computer where before I work, I write down the most important things I need to do today based on my 90 day goals, on my year goals. And I write down and I make sure every single task there is very important. Anything else doesn't go into the list. And I check them off at the end of the day. They're done. And sometimes, yeah, one gets pushed to the next day and that's okay. But they get done and it's not hard. I used to have to do all these strategies about, I need energy, I'll tap myself, I will jump, I'll go work out because I could not find the motivation. Now, the motivation is now there and I need to find it. It's right here. And all that because I had this breakthrough session and I clean, clean up all the all the energy that was creating uh interference like when you hold the, the, that baggage in your body think about this back in the days if you're my age or older remember when we had the radio that you actually had to turn the knob to find the stations right you have like a, a needle and you had to turn the knob to find the right station and if you are not if you didn't find the right station or you were not close to the tower of the radio before satellites you will get, you find your song and you hear that shh noise, right? You couldn't like, oh my God, I want to hear this song so bad. And you couldn't. There, were, there was interference. That's what baggage does. You set your intention, you set your goals, and then there's this interference that is coming from fear, self-doubt, 
sense of like, I'm not good enough, I'm not smart enough, I'm not pretty enough, I'm not intelligent enough, whatever it is, that creates an interference. So you, you feel like you're almost there and still you're not. And that's how I felt through this business. I know my clients see me sometimes like, wow, I watched your video, I had no idea you were going through that. It's like, well, of course, I wasn't sharing these things with my clients. But now it's a responsibility for me to share with you because a lot of people are struggling, suffering um, by setting intentions, setting the goals, and then not being able to sustain those actions or your feelings of struggle and you end up getting fed up and you give up your dream. And I'm here to tell you, don't give up. Whatever you want, that you truly want, that is a compelling goal, don't give up. Let's clear up the interference. So when you turn the knob, you know, you hear that song crisp and clear and loud and you're excited. So if you want to learn more about a mental and emotional release, uh, breakthrough sessions, let's book a call. Click the link below or uh, better, send me a message first and tell me what's going on. Tell me what area in your life you're having some interference, some troubles getting results and uh, I'll send you a link of my schedule and we book a call. No commitment. I'll just help you. I'll give you a roadmap. In that call, I would at least point you to the right direction if you decide that having a breakthrough session is not your thing. But I'll point you to the right direction. Some things you can start working. So it's a, it's a win-win. No obligation. No commitment. Just book a call and I can see if I can help you. And I can explain a little more about what mental emotion release really is. Even refer a book for you to read. A, a book that will help you to understand more what this is. But I am my best testimonial right now. And again, the next block, I will share a testimony from uh, somebody I, did, I led a breakthrough session, how she is rocking. And another client that yesterday just shared that her stress level work got decreased tremendously. Her fear is not there anymore. She used to feel this weight in her body every day and the weight's not there anymore. This is a tremendous tool that I'm so excited to share with you and share with my clients because it's like, taking five years of therapy in one session and eliminating all that baggage. So I'm excited to be sharing more testimonials with you because I have a couple more clients coming for breakthrough sessions, but I want to share my story. How I went from struggle to joy, inspiration, motivation every day and how being productive now, it's, it's easy. It's not about willpower, determination and discipline anymore, which was the things I really was good at, but it's not enough. It's not enough because it's not coming from here. When we just use determination, discipline, we push into the left brain and that becomes exhausting and we lose the joy, we lose the love. That's why a lot of entrepreneurs end up going out of business, giving up their dream and just get a nine to five job. Nothing wrong with that. A lot of people have a nine to five job. That's for you. That's awesome. But even that you still take responsibility for your life. You still the leader of your life and you can thrive even if you have a nine to five job and you can make more money, get promotions, get recognized for what you do when you clean your baggage. So if you're an entrepreneur, this is for you. If you're just in a workforce and you have a nine to five job and you're part of a team, this is for you as well, because I can teach you how to get ahead and feel recognized, get the promotion, make more money and create a happy, healthy life because that's what you deserve. Thank you so much. I know I went a little longer than I supposed to, but I'm feeling so inspired with my own life and about helping you that I just went a little bit longer. So thank you so much. Don't forget to message me so we can book the call to see if I can help you in any way, form or shape. Thank you so much.